In this video, we will show you how to install SG125CXP2. Step 1. Preparation before installation. Please know the installation requirements. Next is some device, accessories, and tools. Use a utility knife to cut the packing tape. Remove the packing box upwards, paper angle beads, and upper cushion. Step 2. Mechanical installation. 1. Moving the inverter. 2. Installing the mounting bracket. 3. Assemble the mounting bracket by using the connecting bar. Level the assembled mounting bracket by using the level and mark the positions for drilling holes. Drill the holes by using an electric drill. Insert the expansion bolts into the holes and secure them with a rubber hammer. Fix the mounting bracket with the expansion bolts. Fix the four handles to the mounting hangers and the base of the inverter. Mount the inverter to the bracket and secure it with M6 screw and washer. Step 3. Electrical connection. Keep both of the AC and DC switches disconnected to avoid live line operation. 1. PE connection. Crimp OT or DT terminal. Place the heat shrink or cold shrink tubing over the cable. Connect the terminal to the cable and secure it with the hydraulic pliers. Connect the PE cable to the secondary PE terminal. The cross-section of PE cable is same as that of the PE wire in the AC cable. 2. AC cable connection. Loosen two screws on the front cover of the junction box using the supplied hexagen socket wrench. Keep the junction box cover open with a limit rod. Loosen screws on the bottom ceiling plate using the hexagon socket wrench and remove the ceiling plate. Strip the insulation from the cable and use hydraulic pliers to secure the terminal to the cable. Cut off the excess part of seating rain according to cable diameter. Leave the cable through the seating rain and secure the screws on the bottom seating plate. It is recommended to use heat shrink or cold shrink tube to protect the terminals from water. Connect cables with crimped OT or DT terminals to corresponding terminals and secure them. Reassemble the junction box in reverse order of removal. 3. DC cable connection. Strip the insulation from each DC cable by 7 to 8 millimeters. Insert the stripped cables into the crimped contact. Seal them with a wire sealing ring. Insert the wiring terminal into the insulation sleeve until it snaps into place. Check the DC cable connections for correct polarity. Ensure that the DC switch is in the OFF position. Plug the connectors into corresponding terminals. 4. RS-485 connection. Remove the communication junction box. Leave the cable through the swivel nut, the ceiling rain, and the junction box in sequence. Strip off the protective layer and insulation layer of proper length. Fully insert the conductors to the corresponding terminal. Connect cables to the terminal socket. Install the communication junction box. If multiple inverters are used, 
all inverters can communicate with each other in daisy chain mode through RS-485 communication cables. Refer to the installation manual for a mountain distance of multiple inverter installations. 5. Communication module connection, optional. Remove the waterproof lid from the COM1 terminal and install Ynet S. Step 4. Commissioning. Check the following items before starting the inverter. Open the circuit breaker. Rotate one DC switch of the inverter to the on position. The indicator blinks blue slowly. The Ynet S operates normally when LAN is connected and the indicators are in the above state.